the reason I feel in fear for my safety because of his lies is because the lies that he told are the kind that enrage people and cause them to want justice that can't be had because he has lied. He told people that I escaped justice from a murder. That is not a frivolous little thing. He's not telling people that I stole a cookie. He's literally telling people I killed somebody. And people believe him. And that puts me in danger. His saying that I'm trying to have him killed because I'm speaking out about this is him mocking the real danger that he has put me in. Because everything is a joke to him. He's going to tell these life-ending lies to his 12,000 followers. And he doesn't know what's going to happen. He doesn't know how many of them live in Los Angeles. He doesn't know how many of them are willing to travel to get justice that he says has been evaded and is deserved by me. He doesn't know when he's speaking out to his 12,000 people and telling them that I'm this horrible person who deserves to suffer. He doesn't know who he's talking to. That's why I'm scared. He says he's scared to mock my genuine fear that I've had to live with for three years now. It's not a joke and it's not funny. And it's also not going to stop me from speaking out. Because if I just go away, he wins. And he's allowed to find some other innocent person to pin a murder on. Once he's gotten away with it once, he's going to try again. And the next person that he puts in danger might live somewhere where there's more people that will want to hurt them. Or maybe he'll tell the wrong lie and actually get somebody injured. His followers have approached me on the street. There was one on a bus that jumped off and was bothering me about where a liquor store was. There was one uh, downtown that ran into me. They, they ask me things that make it very clear that they're from the group. They have attacked my home before. When I stopped responding last year or the year before, they were putting things in my mailbox. They were breaking my mailbox so that they could put pictures of dead people and things like leaves and sticks and things inside my mailbox. I have a reason to be afraid of the lies that he is telling people. He has no reason to be afraid from me speaking out the truth and telling the truth. Because it's the truth. And he was proud of it when he did it. Now he wants me silenced. But when he did it, he was proud of it. He would do it live to his audience. Making sure everybody approved of the harassment and the cruelty. The only reason he wants it covered up now is because he has moved on to a new victim. And I'm not going to allow him to just find new victims and continue doing this to people. He's destroyed my life. I have no life now except to speak out against what he's done.